My Uncle Colly used to work in a Swiss German restaurant and he would love to make spatzli. Now, if you haven't heard of spatzli, it's a German style noodle and he swears by this recipe. So I'm going to share it with you today. Really easy measurements to remember. He likes to use a combination of two flours, so wholemeal flour and tipo zero zero. Tipo zero zero because it's super fine. And then a little of the wholemeal flour so we get that lovely nutty flavour. So 125 grams and another 125 grams of that wholemeal flour, plain. We need to season this, so a good pinch of salt. And I love the addition of some nutmeg. Okay, so that's the dry ingredients. We'll just give that a whisk to combine both of the flours. And then into another bowl, we'll add the wet ingredients. So some melted butter. You'll need three eggs. And just give that a whisk to break up the eggs and combine that with the butter and constantly whisk this and then add some milk. So this is not like an Italian style noodle and that's what I like about it. It's very different. Now usually you would add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients but for this recipe we're just going to slowly incorporate the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and this will ensure we don't get too many lumps. So a little at a time incorporate it and then we'll add some more. Now you do want to allow this to rest for one hour in the fridge so a little cling film over the top and this will go into the fridge for an hour. has come out of the fridge so we can take this glad wrap off now just take the excess off great and before we start cooking the spatzli we want to make a quick sauce I love this sauce it's a butter and saffron sauce with some prawns so into a large pan just like this one I've just been preheating it and I'll add a splash of olive oil and in with the butter and as that starts to melt I want to add a pinch of saffron. These gorgeous little saffron strands are going to flavour our butter and you really only need a small amount of it to make a difference. So we'll let that warm up together. Some capers for a pop of saltiness. Oh, it smells good. And some prawns. Now I'm just using some green prawns here and I've deshelled them and deveined them and I'm just going to finely chop them. I want this to almost look like popcorn pieces. Okay, so we'll pop that in. And now I'm going to turn the heat off and just let this sit here for a moment as we cook the spatzli. So into the big pot, we're going to add a good amount of salt. Just like any other noodle, you need to season the water generously with some salt. And there's two ways of making the spatzli. One way is through a strainer like this and you can force through the batter. But I think that's a really messy way of doing it. Uncle Collie's way is much easier. So if you get yourself a small board and a palette knife, I'll add a generous amount of our spatzly dough. And if it's too thick, you can just dilute it with a little extra milk. We'll start with about a quarter to half of this mixture. See how sticky it is? That's just right. And we simply use this just to scrape little strands of noodles. And you'll see it just start to fall down into the water. When it comes to the surface, it's ready. Now the first couple that you'll do, they'll probably be a little bit too chunky or too long, but once you get the hang of it and start doing this flicking motion, you get these gorgeous noodles, all different types of shapes, and that's the perfect spatzli. Pretty fun too. risen to the top so you know that they're ready. Look at that, little noodles. They look very organic, slightly gnarly, but they're going to taste so delicious. So I've just turned the heat back onto our prawns. You can see that they're still slightly raw there, which is the way I want it. We'll give it a quick toss and see how that saffron has coloured the butter there. It smells so good. We'll add our spatzli 
And if some of the water goes in, even better, because that's going to help let that sauce stick to our noodles. And before I toss it, I want to add some herbs. I've got a combination of tarragon, dill and parsley, and we'll just finely chop a good handful of that together. Great. All of these soft herbs go quite nicely with seafood, so for our prawns, just right. Pop that in. And the last ingredient, slightly controversial, but a little parmesan. I know there is seafood in there, but the parmesan's not going to be cheesy in this because it is such a small amount. It's just going to help bind that sauce. OK, let's give this a toss. See how they hold their shape? Fantastic. OK, big spoon. And we'll serve this. And I love to finish it off just with some freshly cracked pepper over the top. There you go. That is Uncle Collie's spatzly with some prawns and saffron. Enjoy. Mm.